Good morning, team. Um, we're here at the Space Center. This is Pierre. And uh, this morning, we have something very unique to show you, hopefully, if the conditions are ideal. I'm here with AJ here. So I'm going to steal you a couple of minutes. What's going to happen today, we're going to do a couple of flights for a refresh uh, for supersonic profiles for uh, test pilots sent by a government entity. So we're going to fly supersonic at uh, certain speeds and altitudes. And there's a unique phenomenon that uh, very rarely you can see in, uh, uh, from the airplane itself. So we're going to actually see, most likely if the conditions are ideal, a shock wave that travels with us, uh, with the aircraft, once we fly supersonic. That is possible because uh, I'll be sitting today in the back seat, uh, which is theoretically the instructor position. And uh, by being there, I'll be able to see the... Uh, barely the wing but i'm gonna be able to see most likely a shock wave developing in front of the tip tank as we go uh, supersonic uh, that's i guess extremely rare and i never seen a video like that uh, from the perspective of the airplane i'm gonna give the the cell phone uh, to aj here that's why the air when we go subsonic moves out of the way kind of kind of thing when we go supersonic all the air molecules they hit uh, the obstacles you know of the airplane and at that point, there's a buildup. These waves um, cannot go in front of the airplane as a result of the, uh, the change of uh, pressure of the, these uh, molecular heat uh, uh, the tank in this case. So what happens is they pile up because they, they travel at the speed of sound. The aircraft goes at the speed of sound. They all pile up 90 degrees to the airplane. And that's what we call the shock wave. But how do we see it? What happens is all these waves pile up in a very, in a very thin line because of that, there's a huge drastic change of pressure right on that line. Uh, and that means that there's a dramatic uh, change of uh, uh, density of the air. It's very similar to when we have a cup of water and we put a spoon inside. And we see that the spoon is like bent. It bends as it reaches the water. That's because the light gets refracted in a different way to our eyes. So we actually see the spoon in a different spot where it's actually supposed to be. We are used to that, so it doesn't really surprise us too much. Here you don't see water or any other mean, it's just air. But because of the change of density, it's like if it was a different mean, no, no more air. So whatever we see from this side along this line, don't match, let's say the line of the horizon. As you go through that uh, uh, shock wave, the line of the horizon will, mis will be mismatched. So it's kind of crazy from here, you look and you see this line created by the mismatching points of whatever you can see before and after. Pretty amazing. Uh, I decided to show it to you because it's something extremely unique. So we'll be traveling with it. Now, last thing before we go and check it out in flight, this line is basically 90 degrees as we go um, they, at the same speed of sound. As you go faster, these waves that still moves at the speed of sound, being the aircraft is going faster than the speed of sound, these waves get away from the aircraft but cannot catch up with the aircraft. So they come, as they come away from the aircraft, they go backwards as a reference to the airplane. So this line, as you go faster, bends backwards. So the faster you go, that's why uh, uh, the shockwave has this cone shape as you go much faster. So uh, with the possibility to see this phenomenon. I hope I didn't bore you enough. Um, and uh, uh, thank you, AJ. We'll see you guys uh, in a few minutes. So I might throw in uh, if that doesn't work too well today, I might throw in a couple of uh, images we did uh, last week with the other airplane uh, where the conditions were uh, decent. Um, so that's why you might see the different color of the tank uh, in the middle of the video if the first one is not good enough. So stay with us and let's see what we can uh, make out with it. And now you can see actually the shock wave. Yeah, you see yeah, it? Yeah, I see it very well. So it's right in front, maybe 10 inches, I can see two of them, right in front of the tip tank, cutting the clouds. And they go far out, actually. With the naked eye, you can see much better. I know that the camera won't do that justice, but...
at three green land land and the skid on and run rather than limited you're in a good final and we're clear to land little slow now 190 so we want to just but keep the nose coming down because we're high so keep coming down keep coming down keep coming down that's it i don't i don't i don't i don't okay all right good brakes yeah good brakes braking 